And prosecutors tell you it is the most disturbing case they've ever been a part of. And when they tell jurors this case will change them forever and then offer psychological counseling when it's all over, you know it's heavy. That is the case of John Werman and two other women who have been convicted of or pleaded guilty to dozens of counts related to the operation of a child pornography ring in suburban Philadelphia that operated for almost nine years. There is just no getting around it. What happened to unsuspecting and innocent children at the hands of 41-year-old John Werman, 45-year-old Conchetta Jackson, and 44-year-old Dorothy Pronzik is horrible. Jackson pleaded guilty, admitting that she brought children that she babysat to Werman so he could do his criminal work. Pronzik undressed children and positioned them for pictures and video. Werman violated the victims physically and emotionally with scenes in showers, around toilets, and in so many other ways and places, it's really hard to put into words. Assistant U.S. Attorney Michelle Rotella called him a monster and even cried in court. Even John Werman's public defender said, I assume right now you hate John Werman. Guess what? He's not on my dinner invitation list either. This is one of the homes where neighbors say John Werman did his pornography and child exploitation. Few would talk on camera, but those who did are shocked. I think it's crazy for the simple fact this is a good neighborhood. It's very down to earth. Everybody knows each other, and for a rapist or a pornographer to be around here, it's not good. William Trogger says he's known John Werman for years and describes him as an angry person. He cursed you out just for saying hello. You couldn't be not you couldn't be nice to the guy. And he tried, he, he did everything in his power to, to make the neighborhood lousy. Investigators found more than 1.2 million still images and 11,000 videos on hard drives, CDs, DVDs, and computers owned by John Werman, a victim who's now an adult coming forward and an astute Pennsylvania state trooper who saw Werman driving near the Philadelphia International Airport helped break the case wide open more than two years ago. All three defendants in the case face sentencing in December. Werman was convicted of 56 total counts. Dorothy Prodzik was convicted of 15 counts. And Conchetta Jackson made a deal and pleaded guilty to just one count of manufacturing pornography. If you want to see more of this episode of It's Your Call, you can with Comcast On Demand. Using your Comcast cable, go to Channel 1, get local, CN8, and then choose It's Your Call, CN8. On air, online, and on demand.